Okay guys, so I'm out here attempting to do a Hydra Boost conversion on the dually here. Trying to go from uh, on the GMT 400 to the GMT uh, 800 Hydra Boost. And um, <clears throat> so I'm trying to get that done. Working on getting, uh, getting mine out here. And trying to figure out what I need to do for this conversion. Okay, so I've been comparing the the two Hydra Boosts here. This is the one off the 91. I believe it's original. You got this one here that was off my 2002 2500 HD. Uh, a couple of things that are different that I'm noticing is the length of the shaft. The original 91 is longer, a little bit longer. Uh, the stud pattern on this 2002, you can see it's a little different there than the 91. Um, and then the hole size is is bigger on the on this one. This one's got a smaller hole for the the brake master cylinder. But other than that, I think they're pretty close. This has got a bigger stem than this one. So, I don't know. We'll see if this works out, I guess. Okay, so what I've done to fix my too short of a, a brake rod for the pedal is I cut the original one off and welded it to the, the new Hydra Boost. And uh, I'm pretty confident with my welding guy, so I don't think I'm going to have a problem with it. But, you know, if you do this, do this at your own risk. This is really all a test. Um, I'm going to probably get a, a rebuilt AC Delco unit if this works out. And I'm probably going to sleeve this and then weld it up. Right now I just kind of beveled the edges and uh, welded it on that way. Like I said, this is a test. This is an old unit out of my other truck that I took out. So one other thing it looks like you can do, and I think I've, I've heard people talk about this, is you can swap this older plate onto the newer style Hydra Boost. You can see there's a different bolt pattern. It's actually they're the same bolt pattern except for this one right here is different. Uh, all I did was drill that out. Uh, on the firewall. It is kind of in an odd place so I had to do some grinding because there's like a pinch weld there. Um, you can, it looks like you can, there's a snap ring right here, you take that off and there's a big nut holding this big plate on. Um, it looks like a, it looks like a nasty nut there. You can see it's got uh, like grips on it so I bet that nut really fights coming off. I chose to just drill a hole in the firewall an extra one and everything seemed to work out for me so um, being that these are probably junk I may see how hard it is to knock this nut off take a you're not gonna get nothing in there like an impact there's nothing you're almost gonna have to take a chisel and a punch or something and try to knock that nut off but I may give that a try see how hard it really is but it looks like it's it's pretty difficult okay so I got everything back together uh, all the hoses work uh, that stem is a little longer but it's gonna work this hose here because of that longer stem isn't quite in the same spot but that clip works for these other two still. And it looks it looks factory in here. You wouldn't know it until you started looking. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I gotta bleed this this out, which I'm gonna fire it up and just hit the brake a few times, top off my fluid and 
we'll see how this works. Well, I'm having an issue here, guys, with this conversion. Um, brakes, when you hit them, you really have brakes, but um, a problem I'm having is my brakes are, are sticking, or they're, they're staying on, even when I don't press the brakes just a little bit. I just jacked it up just to make sure that was that was happening and it is I haven't checked the rear but the front it seems like this one here is sticking worse than that one but um, I'm a little baffled on why I'm having this problem so I'm not sure here I'm gonna have to do some thinking and I think this hydro boost is actually leaking worse than the other one if you can believe that it's leaking pretty bad I didn't think it was leaking that bad on my other truck, but uh, yeah, I'll have to do some figuring here. Okay, so I picked up some new parts for the dually. Obviously, you can see the AC Delco. Uh, I got a, a rebuilt Hydra Boost to stick in there. I got to do some modifications to my modifications that I did. To try to get this thing to work also picked up a, a master cylinder uh, this is a master cylinder for the 91 and this is the newer style hydro boost uh, they bolt together the, the the bore of the hydro boost is actually bigger than uh, these older ones but i don't see why uh, it won't work that's what i'm going to do i'm going to try to put these parts on Gonna try to figure out why my brakes are sticking on the front. So we're we'll gonna hopefully uh, these new parts will will figure that out. And yeah, I gotta get this all disassembled again, pull everything out, and we'll we'll try to try to get this uh, in round two fixed. So here's the the Hydra Boost I used, and here's my rod that I welded on, and um. I think I was trying to go with like eight inches total length. Somehow it got longer. This is, this is longer than eight inches. But I think um, I'm gonna try seven and a half from the backing plate here to the end of this. I'm gonna try for seven and a half inches, maybe a tad shorter. And we're gonna see, cause this is too long. I think it was messing up my pedal. Could have been the whole reason I'm having trouble. I'm going to put the Hydro Boost in first, then we'll still having trouble with the front brakes. We'll go with the Master Cylinder, but the Master Cylinder will go in there anyway. I'm just trying to figure out what went wrong uh, with this conversion, why my front brakes are, are locking up. So I'm going to get this cut off. I got to get the new one out. You got to cut the shaft off of that, get these welded up, and get her put, put back in. So here's the new Hydra Boost. Uh, like I said early, earlier in the video, this is a newer style. This is for like a 2002, um, 2500 HD. And this is, again, AC Delco rebuilt. I'm kind of doing this for a test too, because my 2002 needs a Hydra Boost that's not leaking. And hopefully this is gonna do the job. I've got to... Uh, try not to drop this thing okay so they got this tag on the front and that's just reminding you that you have to install your your uh, push rod uh, spring and retainer in here you can see there's nothing in there you got to take your one from your old one and, and put it inside this one so that's another little thing you got to do when you do your hydro boost on this one anyway okay so to get this uh, this uh, push rod and spring out of here, it's really not that difficult. You just kind of uh, push on it. And I got this, this hook tool here, and I just kind of push on it and pull, pull it out. Push on the retainer, kind of bend those teeth. I ain't gonna be able to show you, I bet, because it's just gonna be uh, 
my fingers in the way. I can't really show you what I'm doing, but you, you just uh, pull them out and then along comes your spring and your push rod and you're going to reinstall this into the new one. You just push it in there and you just hook the, the well first straighten this out if you bent it, this little star thing, then you just pop it in the groove, no big deal. Okay guys, so we're looking good here. We're back to square one. Hopefully uh, we don't have a leaky hydro boost. And I'm rolling the truck back and forth. So I don't feel like anything's stuck right now. Hydro boost doesn't have any fluid in it right now, but, yeah, but I got one more bolt. That There's a bolt above the steering column. Um, it's really difficult to get to. You gotta use a hand wrench. It's actually able to get the impact on the other three, but uh, I gotta get the hand wrench on that one, so it's taking me a while, but got everything hooked back up under here, so it won't be long. I'll be able to take a ride and see if that fixes the problem. Well, I'm happy to say, guys, after a test drive, truck's fixed. The uh, front brakes are not sticking anymore. I must have had something to do with that Hydra Boost. I don't know if there's something wrong with it, or because I had the, the rod too long. Now this one I did seven and a half, um, you know, inches all the way to the end. Um, if I had to do it over again, I think it needs a little more length. Uh, it, the pedal is, it's, it's quite a ways down now compared to what it was. It might've been too far up before. Um, I had to readjust the, the brake light switch because it wasn't working with the new position of the pedal. Uh, also, there's another sensor under there that the pedal hits uh, when it comes all the way back, and I see it's not hitting that sensor anymore. So I may have to make something so it does uh, hit that sensor. I have a feeling it has something to do with the cruise control. The cruise control worked on this thing. I mean, everything worked on this thing, so I don't really want to lose that. So I'll have to try the cruise out. I'm concerned about other things right now, but once I get this working, I can figure out the details. But anyway, like I said, I went seven and a half on the length. Probably could go just a tad longer on that um, for that brake rod. But overall, guys, everything's working good. Uh, brakes are not sticking, so I uh, have a master cylinder I gotta install. I gotta wait on that because I gotta find a bleeder. Gotta but uh, yeah, you, you can use the old master cylinder with the new style booster. So that's, I got, I got no washers here at all. Everything bolted up. Lines all bolted up. So far I'm not leaking, so I may get another one of these re, uh, rebuilt AC Delco Hydra Boosts from my 2002. I'm gonna run this a little bit, make sure it doesn't start leaking on me, but at first it was kind of acting funny. Uh, remember, you gotta bleed the air out of these things, so you gotta check your fluid too while, you do, while you're doing that. Uh, once I got out and started uh, steering the thing and, and uh, braking, all the air worked out, and like I said, it works out. It works pretty good. Um, <clears throat> whether or not the, the, the brakes are actually better with this Hydra Boost. Um, brakes on this thing are, are, were awesome before. So I don't notice really more braking power. Uh, but if you wanna compare something, I got this rebuilt Hydra Boost and the new master cylinder uh, for less than a rebuilt um, original Hydra Boost for this truck. So if you want to do this to save money on parts, see, them Hydra Boosts are going to get harder to find and more expensive as this gets older. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. 
That's a GMT 800 Hydra Boost and a GMT 400 truck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope this helps some people that may, might want to do it. But um, yeah, there it is, guys. I guess I'll see you.